Hi, this is Brian Katzen with kpowertools.com. Today I'm giving a brief demonstration of the default fonts feature of KCSG Tools for Kartra. This feature is included in the Pro and Agency versions and is available as a paid, paid add-on for the basic version. Default fonts works both with Kartra fonts as well as non-Kartra fonts in conjunction with the custom fonts feature. I've uh, added a couple of demonstration fonts into my Your Pick section of the, the Kartra font reviewer, which you can get to by clicking on the, um, the, the Tools for Kartra extension icon and then clicking on the font reviewer. There'll be a, a menu like this when you open the drop down and click on the, the font reviewer to come here. Uh, I've picked out a couple of fonts that uh, stand out from the typical serif and sans serif type fonts in various ways. Uh, all of these fonts have uh, a little bit of unique character to help them stand out from the, the usual little bit. To use the default font feature, come down to the set default font section, which is in between the your pick section and the additional font section. You don't have to uh, preload any fonts into the your pick section, uh, but it makes it a little easier to, to add default fonts quickly. I'll give a demonstration of that here. So I'm going to open this section. You can set default fonts for page builder headlines, page builder text blocks, page builder bullet lists, and also headlines and text blocks within the membership area. So I've preloaded a bunch of these. Um, in each one of these blocks, for the headlines, there are four different types of presets that you can set defaults for. The default, which is actually an HTML paragraph. Uh, you can also set it for H1, H2, or H3 headlines for the, the page builder headline style. The same thing in the text blocks. The default format within a text block is a paragraph. You can also set H1, H2, and H3 headlines within a text block, um, oddly enough. So you have uh, these eight different styles for head between headlines and text blocks, and uh, two styles for lists and in memberships. So uh, for each one, you can pick uh, any of the fonts, whether it's a Kartra native font or one that you've added using custom fonts. If you have a list of fonts in the Your Pick section, then those fonts will show up uh, in a subcategory called Your Picks, and they show up in the order that they appear in the Your Pick section. All the other fonts not in Your Picks will be in alphabetical order in the additional font section. Again, that can include non Kartra fonts if you've added custom fonts. So you simply pick the font that you want to be the default for that style. In this case, for the headline paragraph style, you also pick a, a secondary font, which will be used if the primary font is unavailable or fails to load. You can choose from a generic sans serif a generic serif or a generic monospace uh, aka typewriter font. If you want to, you can choose a default foreground and or background color. Um, so I can drag this around and it will make the text uh, be that color. Uh, be sure to click on choose before you cancel out uh, to have make sure it takes effect. If you pick a color and you don't want it to be that color, you can click on the X box and it will clear. So I've assigned uh, some these example fonts um, for uh, headlines and text blocks. Uh, Pinion script is a non Kartra font. This is an extra font that I've added from Google Fonts using the custom fonts feature that I'll demonstrate in another video. As a, a backup, I've set it to be to use a generic serif font and make it red to easily highlight this test case that I'm going to demonstrate. To uh, use this in the page builder, you'll click on the Copy Page Builder CSS to Clipboard button here, 
For the membership area, you'll use this copy membership HTML to clipboard. And then you, this one you paste into the page builder custom styles area. This one you would copy into a custom HTML block in the membership builder. This checkbox here, load custom default fonts. Uh, if you are using any custom fonts like this pinion script that I'm using here, when this checkbox is checked, it will include the CSS to load um, only, the, only the custom fonts out of the ones that you specified here. So in this case, all of these are available Kartra fonts except for pinion script. So with this checkbox, it will include the CSS to bring in pinion script into the into the page so i'm going to click on this it confirms that i've loaded all the information in um, in this case the the css to bring in the pinion script includes uh, what's called a css import and it's important to note that all import statements uh, must be grouped at the the top before any other non-import CSS. So we'll take a look at how that works here. So now I'm going to go to a demonstration page where I have um, generic headers. This is a heading or, or a header with a paragraph, a header with H1 heading, header with H2 heading, header with H3, and similarly text blocks with paragraph uh, header one, header two, and header three to show the eight different styles uh, works the same way for list items I just haven't shown those here um, at the beginning of each text block I forced this little identifier to be a specific font so this little uh, style tip here that I have at the beginning will not change but the rest of the text is just using the the defined fault for its style so when I apply the custom styles you'll see everything but the front part of this uh, change to the new style. So I'm going to go to styles, custom styles, and paste my code in here. Here's the uh, import statement that I was talking about. If you have other styles in here, make sure all of the import statements are together at the top before any other non-comment, non-import text. And as I apply this, you'll see all the you'll see the font family for all of this change, and you'll see that the H3 heading, um, as specified for the pinion script, is in red. So each each custom style has been applied, and just to uh, demonstrate how the the fallback works, I'm going to comment out this import statement which is going to make this pinion script unavailable. And then you'll see how it falls back to its, its backup setting. So here I've set a backup of a generic serif font. So if I disable importing the pinion script, which I can do fairly simply here, and reapply this, I've just commented out the import statement that brings in pinion script. So as I apply this, you'll see that it has reverted to its backup which is a, a generic serif font. And that's how default fonts work.